Hi everybody, welcome back to the Sweetheart. So, um, today I'm gonna be doing a video. It's a very special video, something I never thought I'd do before. So, how many of you like pencil boxes, school supplies? I love collecting them. I have like a million pencil boxes and I keep on collecting them even though I know that I'm going to have to throw away some later. But anyway. So, um, day before yesterday, I got an Amazon package from my aunt and she bought me a pencil case. So, this is the Amazon package that I got. This sounds interesting. <laughs> okay. So, I got my school supplies in the box here. It's kind of stuffed, so it doesn't close. But anyway, I've got the scale. It doesn't fit in here. So, I'm taking it out. And a little notebook to test out the school supplies. So, this, uh, by the way, uh, to just to let you know, the school supplies aren't new, so yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get the scissors and let's get on with the video. Just cut the side tape of this, nice and neat. So, let's get the Amazon package down and nothing will be in the way. So, um, this is the pencil case. It's like this blue denim type of pencil case. So, uh, that's really nice. The look is denim and it also feels denim. So, that's really nice. So, I think these two are somewhat connected. So, let's see. Yeah, these are connected. So, yeah. So I'm going to basically maybe put my pens in here and pencils in here, we'll have to see. So these are the um, places you can put your pen in and we have a little pocket here. And this is um, like a pocket separating this area and this area, so I'm excited to check it out. So this is the other area, it has two pockets over here, I'm not sure if you can see. Like it has two pockets, one over here and one over here. And in this area just to keep all your pens or pencils or whatever you want. So I'm just going to open this a bit so you can see. To get a better view of it, you can actually open this way and look in through here instead of just struggling. And you have the better view of it. So these are the pockets and then you have the um, place to keep your pencils. So I'm super excited to put the pencils in. So uh, this is a scale by the way this is old and um, this was like two or three years ago when I went to Australia. I bought this scale. It has calculator on it that's why I can't take it to my exams. <laughs> anyway. So uh, and these are the pencils and pens that I have so let's check them out shall we. So first I have this mechanical pencil um this is a mechanical pencil as i was saying it's like this blue clear one so i can actually see the refill in it and this is by camel it's a kick pro and this is 0 0.5 meters there. Uh, then i have this uh, ballpoint pen a highlighter uh, this is a gel pen ink pen I have two pencils one from Smiggle and one from a brand called Upstar I just this random marker for some reason whoops another mechanical pencil a Smiggle eraser the legs for the pencils a scissor it's a teeny one so it can fit in the pencil case easily I've also got a compass in here because I use that for math and two sharpeners. So, yeah. So back to the pencil case. Um, I'm just gonna fill it in with all the supplies. Hopefully they fit. I think they will because this is a pretty roomy one. That's why I asked for it. And also, if you wanna know the cost and price, cost and price is the same thing. If you wanna know the cost, I'll link it down below and uh, where I got this from too. These are gonna go in the big zip in front. Let's put them in there. The lids I'm planning to keep in one of these pockets. The, the big pockets here. 
so they fit in there perfectly which is just what I wanted so yeah then the arrays is going to go into the other pocket along with my sharpeners so I can access the one pocket of what I use easily then I've just got the bunch of pens so I'm just going to put them in one is going to go in here and um, then we've got another one and another one so uh, if you have small scissors like mine, you can either put them in the pocket, but uh, I'm going to keep them in here because it's um, a place that I won't access much, so I'm, I won't hurt myself. Hopefully I won't. Okay. And now these two markers I'm planning to keep along with my pencils, the compass along with my pencils, and these are pencils. Okay. So I'm just going to close it up and show you what it looks like with everything. Yeah, this book, I don't really know that I want to put it in here because it's kind of big and will take out a lot of space. So I'm just going to keep that aside for now. So opening up here, we have the pens, scissor, and you can also easily access this area and this area without needing to open the bigger zip. So yeah. But if you want to, if you have like a bunch of school supplies and you don't want to open the small zip, you can just open the big zip and take out anything you want. So the small zip is basically there too because it's really hard to get out things from the side. So that's why they put the small zip. So you can access it from any side. So yeah. So this is the concept. Oh, and it also has this handle. I can't forget that. So if you want to, you know, go in style to school and don't want to carry a backpack, you can just carry a pencil box here. But I doubt that's going to happen because you have to carry books too. But this is cute. Uh, you can also use this as a makeup bag. It doesn't necessarily have to be a pencil case. It can be a makeup bag. It can be places to keep your spoons and pots if you want. I don't know if you use this for anything. But um, I'm using it as a pencil box and I really love it. Oh, and also it comes in different colors. I wanted blue, denim, because I love blue. Uh, but I think they come in different colors. So I will link the uh, place to get this down below. And finally, I wanted to say a big thank you to my aunt for buying me this pencil box. Oh, and also, um, now I wanted to mention that uh, between uh, sometime this week I'll be posting a poll on YouTube and um, you can decide what video you want to see after this this video so maybe it's a challenge or maybe it's a book review or an art review I'm gonna put those three things there and you can choose what you want okay that's all for this video I hope you enjoy bye for now